Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness. Let's me repeat myself. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We do not want the criminal supporters and their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or madden. Moving on to our video. So right now you look at a man by the name of Noah Lines. Yeah man, you know that um he's not being liked by some Jamaicans. Although this man girlfriend is Jamaican, you know, yeah. And the reason being we'd say because um that's only because the guys um them same show off. Hey, even we you know, we are telling say I don't know if you are not a subscriber. Send a, a, a send something to me, um send a post or somebody post in a Jamaica young police and I say yours so me behave like me, me no one lines are the same. So I don't know if it's a compliment and I right to and them think because you know me not show off. You know say oh me show off. You understand? And all of the people that say me show off, I just because me not talk to them, talk with them and me not friend them upon to other people might, you know, look them and me never look them and them think that I'm not looking at them kinda. You understand? Yeah, cause you know, I just some east here. You know, uh, thank to my parents, you know, my parents them and my community. Yeah man, so the sentiment so we are telling you know, so yeah, so we are telling a little about the Olympics and I was Olympics is in Jamaica and we don't know and believe it, you know. We don't could have called for God little more, you know, cause God don't listen, you know. Cause if you know, remember historically, you know, Port Royal, you know, was dubbed the dub the wickedest place on earth, you know, and God sink it. So now we're on the self man. All I wanna are revealing our you know, down there, reveal, you know, wickedness, yeah, man. We see our one girl, man, a national award for murder for killer icon, yeah, man. And see, what you think the people them now see? And we see, you know, how many a man kill all 140 involving a killing 144 old people are even tied. You think the youth them now see? So, in time, the youth them kill eight people. I try them, I try to save them, can't save them, can't get a nomination for national award like George Pang and being a man, because them see, see, are them people there. A killer, the system recognize. Oh, they not put no infarmer up there. What? What? You know, I put no Tom Levine up there, no Isaiah Ling. The people that will contribute to Jamaica and the people of Jamaica. You know, many lives they make men they change. Tom Levine changed my life. And that impact him have for me as four, as a four year old youth. Four. You know, many youths, Isaiah um, Ling, changed them life. So we just you know move it on. So yeah man, this is our Olympics in Jamaica. So we don't know and believe it, you know. God not like Jamaica, you know, God curse Jamaica and Jamaican people, you know. Yeah, but we have make a year um a video. Make a listen to Noah Lyles after you know after we you know work um later on in this video. But Noah Lines I tell you about America and them thing now, you're going to be shocked. Yeah, most of you're going to be shocked. Most of them, most we not talk we not talk about you, we talk the average um the average IQ IQ Jamaicans, yeah, because when you say low IQ, <laughs> YouTube it you, yeah, yeah, you have to say high IQ, yeah, man. All them people don't say, you have to say YouTube, why you have to say them smart? Because <laughs> some them have them, you know. No, you don't say that. So you have to say Jamaica high IQs, Jamaicans, yeah, man. And them not really, you know. All them do, them tell us, oh, I was told. So, you know, the sentiment expressed reflect a profound sense of frustration and despair over Jamaica's current state. Particularly in light of the nation's once glorious dominance in track and field. 
the stark comparison to the glowing era, the golden era of Jamaica Athletics highlights a perception that the country has lost its competitive edge, resilience and moral foundation. Can you believe? All white people are beat, all, are beat Jamaica, white people. Well, hey, I'm a Chinese, can you believe? China man. I'm not saying China man have a little thing, you know. You understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you that, you know. A China man have a little thing, you know. I'm, yeah, I mean, oh, me, you know. There was some of them in the military. You have people who have Chinese or Asian descent to join the military and them thing. I may mean, tell you as a man, as a Jamaican and a man, you have a next brother who come from Jamaica when he's Simpson. But uh, I don't remember, him Sim, last name is Simpson and them thing. He didn't have any of it, but he come like a little boss slave and them thing. You know? But yeah. And he, he, hey, the man I tell lies like, about police and you know? sometimes he, he might tell the people, yeah, so I start questioning him and he realize hey, he's a police in my talk to. The man, hey, the man just shift and say, boy. Know yourself, man. You know, he want to make it slide. I'm telling him, so don't do it, man. Don't tell life on yourself. You understand? Sims name. Remember him? Remember him did the nice same squad and them thing now. So I tell you, say, Chinese man with the little sitting. Yeah, because if white man bigger than the Chinese man, I tell you that, you know, based on what we say. Yeah, you don't know as a black man and them thing there. You stand out. And yeah, because when you have boot camp and them thing there, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? I just saw it. Every man. Cause I just saw it go on them thing there, just like when you had the medical for joining the police force and when you're in a military and you have a shower car, you're a ship, you know, you understand what I'm saying? And we are telling us, oh, all the Chinese man are beat the Jamaican, that we show you, you know, I got a cur I curse that I reach, you know, you know. Call them wicked man, Jamaican are some wicked people right now. When you call wicked, good. When you call evil, good. And good, evil. That's why informers are dead. And you have more people who support the killers than the ones who support the informers. Because you know, you see, you, you'll never live to see um, Mark Baby Trump nominate an informer from jungle or the Prime Minister. Yeah, I hug up an informer and say, boy, you know, say, a de, a dem man, yeah. Yeah, a dem man, you know. A dem send the clansman man to my prison, you know. You think he might do that? No. Because the man say I'm an informer. I'm not the biggest informer. I'm the biggest informer. I'm not an informer. So you have to, you have to understand. So and the narrative of them painting the people, them heading you know, And then them, when they murder them, and them see them on a ball out. Look here, man. You know just, you know just shut up, man. Because you know, you don't get wild up on them things. Because you don't contribute to what is happening. You think so the youth, them now say, all the criminals, them say. When them say, what? A man like George Pang, I never know say I'll George Pang a JP. I'll Isaac Buchanan and a JP too. How do you think? What happened? Crime peer. I saw it go. So the reference to portrayal Royal historically dubbed the wickedest city on earth is a powerful and poignant metaphor for what many perceive as a deep decline in Jamaica's spiritual and ethical values. Just as portrayal Royal faced divine dif retribution, for its moral corruption, some now believe that Jamaica is similarly cursed with the nation's poor performance in the 2024 Olympics, seen as a manifestation of this divine displeasure. Jamaica got L. Uno leader them, uno misleaders are taking to L. The belief that Jamaica is turning away from God has led to this retribution reflect a deep-seated fear that the nation is on the dangerous path, one that has led to a crisis of both faith and national identity. So look at the bad blood. We're not stop telling you the truth. And them are misleading you know, we. We are trying to bring back Jamaica and them are trying to tear it down for maintain power. What do you mean? You know, stand up with the guy who kill, who kill Bogle, man. I hug him up. And then you come use your surrogate, come tell you about the boy your music. Hey, look here, man. I don't F on the music. I music destroy the people. A ninja man music destroy Jamaica. And then Shabarang. Shabarang is not promote girl business. Shabarang is one and two gun song. But he never Shabarang is not celebrate no murder. A ninja man. And that's why they mash up radication. Because radication was, radication was going to extinct him from, from the face of the earth. Because of his music, eradication, man like G.C. Grant and Scarcha Miller, them know the power of, of music and the man that come through the struggle as police. And that's why them do eradication for, for decades. And the PMP, them just 
destroy it, mash up radication. Because them know so Ninja Man was the Sphinx that was going to destroy Jamaica with the music. Call them see it. So the sense of crisis is further compounded by disillusionment with Jamaica's current leadership and societal values. The notion that national awards are being bestowed upon individual deemers undeserving and the public embrace of those viewers corrupt or immoral by political leaders fuel a gruel sense of anger and betrayal. So you think I do not do them thing, I think God no vex. Christopher Columbus saying his diary, you know, most of them read, you know. Christopher Columbus saying I'm diary, so if there's any garden of Eden, when him land a sent and him says Jamaica, a prettiest place he ever see. From him as an explorer. A Christopher Columbus said, when you go and read it in a history book, most of them love reading, you know, I say, oh, I was told. Yeah, like how Mark, baby, Mark, baby Trump, Golden, telling the same, him ancestor come a Jamaica a slave, and then Queen of Africa repeated. I saw no dumb. Gauna a dummy. The perception that those who should lead by example are instead celebrating or excusing unethical behavior only deepens the despair of the people them blind and I lead them over, lead them to the abyss. No return. Once you, once you go off a cliff, you can't come back up. Can't remember, you know, if you know about gravity, <laughs> you understand? Yes, once you go over, I just write. You're not going to be destru I just destruction. Pop! Everything just splatter out. Liver, everything. So the frustration extends to the political landscape where both major politics, both parties, the Labour Party and the People's National Party, which is a criminal organization, are criticized for their actions and the kinds of individuals they support. The mention of bad mind and accusation of hatred towards artists and Rastafarians further highlight the intense emotion and division that characterize the current discourse. All Rasta and all a drug dealer, a coke dealer, and then put Rasta up on pedestal. Rasta, where you used to burn out coke, coke dealer, Rasta up on camera, a taste coke, and now they must say, Oh, and that the Rasta sell out Amazura you know, and, and sell out this is um, this is sell out Times Square and all kind of square. See him Rasta, where you used to burn coke, and them a Rasta, so, Oh, and, uh, you know how much life them the Rasta they destroy. We are about Bujibantan. So these issues are not merely political. They are seen as symptomatic of a broader societal decay. We are envy, resentment and moral um, ambiguity have replaced the values that once unite the nation. In a sense, this is not just an expression of discontent. It is a cry for the nation to wake up and confront what is seen as a profound moral and spiritual crisis. The belief that Jamaica has lost its way globally in athletics and ethical leadership is a call to action. So when you have all a man like Shannon Sharp and, and um, Steve E.S. Smith and half of Jamaica, them see, them, you think say, you think say, you think say American, no, them, them no read. I know so Jamaica is a criminal's paradise when they are criminal them lord and revere you. That's why them, them know so Jamaica right down, right down there. When they come on to destruction of people's mind and art. We, hey look, we in a world where black people are just drive up our party and us and us shoot up 17 people and make certain and headshot. Go over people after you shoot them, you just go over them and shot them in the head. Pow! Pow, 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 pow. All I want to you want kill long time, just lick out him, lick out him eye them with an AK-47. What do you mean? Because you want a national award. Because you know, say Mark Golden the, and the PMP criminal organization are going to nominate you in a years to come. Because you see it you know, with George Pong. Remember, say George Pong, you know, he's one of the men, and you hear Lenky Rice's son, Lenky Rice's son, who is Turnabal's brother, Lenky Rice's Lenky Rai son, say, I'm on them from jungle, um, kill people them from even tide. I knew from my grow, say I had them do it. But them say the people them are Tifali and the liberate them to push back. Cause the PMP them, you know, one thing with them. Them very aggressive and them no forget across them point. But hey look, you have to know if you stand up to them. Cause if you are coward, they will run you over. They may come and take over your house and run you out. Just like how Starkey did kill the man out of him house. 
And that's why them go on Tom Levine and them and they go on to send him to the departure lounge. I just saw it go. So it's a plea for the nation to return to its roots, to rediscover the resilience and righteousness that once defined it and to reclaim it, its place, not just as a, as a leader in sports, but a beacon of integrity and faith on the world stage. So we have to listen to Noah, um, Lyle, Noah Lyles. Because we know he's a Jamaican. Some of them don't like him because they say he's cocky. They all compare with the Noah Lyles. Who like him? What do you mean? That's a man who's staying them thing. Right? Him with 100 meters. So you watch. And look here. You're going to be shocked the way Noah Lyles are sick. Because even the Americans are going to hate him too. You know? I just saw it go. Yeah. And them even clap back up in. So you watch. You listen. And you decide. Then we'll come back and address um, Noah Lyles. Of what? <laughs> The United States? You know, the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I love the U.S. at times. <laughs> but that ain't the world. <laughs> that is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> World champion of what? Yeah, so you won't see that you won't see that on your local TV or on cable news or on ESPN. Reason we because no lines that speak the truth. Yes, and for years, you know, for years this is, has been something that has been Especially um, with people who have sense here, so wait, oh, you win an NBA title, young, and not just American team. And one in Canada, you're going to say you're a world champion. And then they put up world champion banner. But that's, uh, you know, that, it, that is just a misconception and that is skewed in the culture. So, New Orleans, the newly crowned 100 meter world champion and global recognized athlete. Recently made a thought provoking statement that challenges a profound ingrained American mindset. Lyles expressed his frustration with the tendency of the NBA and the NFL to label their championship winners as world champions. So he might take America to task, you know, and we are take Jamaica to task. Which you understand? Lyles has expressed his frustration with the tendency of the NBA and FNL. NFL, NFL, <laughs> NFL to label the championship winners as world champion. I stop watch um, NFL from the Colin Kaepernick thing, and I have told myself, even come back, man, I won't watch it again. I mean it. Many people, me know them thing, and them say it until everything was played on. Oh, Kaepernick makes some money and this and that, and um, black people you know, understand and know them value. You understand what I'm saying, sir? So, I have decided. From then, I mean, from that, I will never watch the NFL again as long as as long as them keep keeping the court tight. I won't watch it. I'll find something else and do it on a Sunday. And I want Super Bowl. Yeah, I just me that. Cause me black and I'm not white. You understand? I mean, I'm not a problem with the police and them thinking about and the police, you know. We are talking about the guy them who won the team. White supremacy. People don't like black people. But who are the majority of the players them? Black people. So I'm gonna stand up. Others, I know Kaepernick, Ka you know, was the face of it, but others was there. In black too, you know. But some of that, you understand what I'm saying? But other black people um, get axed because of it, but and Kaepernick, them say Kaepernick helped those financially and Nike. So that's why Nike is seen as brand, as black man, because them support Colin Kaepernick. So that's why black people, them, Support Nike more than any other brand. Apart from the, the, the others, them were one for wear Louis Vuitton and all of them things. And them, no, no, so all of them Italian designers, and I like them. Because most of these people, them are real admiral. Real admiral, and I wouldn't normally like black people, because black people, majority of black people, don't support that. Because black people, you know, are mother and father of creation, you know. And remember, I say, but well, I don't you want to believe it, you know, the oldest the white people say it, you know, them are the anthropologists, some of them. We have black anthropologists too, you know, but you're not going to see, the, you're not gonna see them up there in the mainstream media. You have to remember that. Because they are, want to put, they must say everything in you know, them, they want to put themselves as superior. Even for go past peace, is a black woman where 
do all of the calculation, but I decades after that before you see it. Because them stay, they want to say them superior to everyone and them thing. So that's why they want to turn man in a woman for beat up woman in a sport and all of them things. Because they can't win, so them always are find way to cheat. I just saw it go. We tell you. Yeah, and because of the pushback now from and the media and from the people them. The people them in the liquor league them and the people them in the rural Jamaica, um, rural America and some people in the city them. So no, I mean, your boy can't come boy with my girl if you come play basketball with my daughter. No, I mean, before that, I pull her out. So th there was, but, but if you look, you know, it's women them are attacking them. But we are the women them. The so-called women them, they're not there to defend them. Because it's all about one set of people, white supremacy. Anything that white people want them get. A white man say, more and become a dog. They say, all right, go on, you're a dog. But a, black, a white woman can't say she black in you know? her. No, you can't do that. Oh dear, if you do that. Remember, um, the woman her name, um, do salala, what she want him. I'm not even by name right now. So moving on. So I just saw America stay you now. So while this title may seem innocuous to some, lights argue that it reflects a broader, more concerning issue. The illusion of America exceptionalism. In his statement, Lies pointed out that despite including the Toronto Raptors and the NBA is predominantly an American league, therefore its champions truly represent something other than the world. To call them world champions is not only inaccurate but in Lyle's view, a subtle form of brainwashing that perpetuates the idea that America is the center of the universe. This YouTuber only exists in the mind of some Americans. Alright, I would honestly want to believe it. And that's not lying. Are you, you know, uh, are you to come from Texas and when I join the military with our boot camp? Because, you know, yeah, anywhere we go, we stand out and them thing there, you understand? Even although we accent and some yeah, black guy, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, what do you mean? I tell you, I tell you, some black guy, African American, you know. Uh, you know, I try to be smart because. We and you know with the white guy the man them like we and them thing because you know we positive argument and all of them thing and we know if we motivate others when people are feeling we motivate them and them say boy the brother so yeah them say I him I him we want to lead the squad and all of them thing because this man I know for motivate people as a black man and, and most of most of the people them and you the man them thing so them not really have the experience like we understand and so you know I want this black guy you know um, you know, yeah, him, he must, um, correction officer and him, him left it for coming in the military because him said, boy, the benefits and all kind of things. So he might try to be smart because him don't through my American and me a Jamaican now and for them I look up to me and feel that like, you know, at this, is at this, them at this, him kind of, so he might try to, you know, he might try to insult me but, um, you know, poor, hey man, I can't understand what you're saying, you know, because your accent is so thick. I mean, just say, and so me, so me said to the wife, I say, hey, me say, can you guys understand? I say, we have no problem understanding um, you know, Porter. So I don't know where you're coming from. I me said to him, I say, hey, me say, you have to, you have to understand you know, what this, what, what, what he doesn't understand. You know, the reason why he was born here, and I'm going to educate you guys, is because remember that all of our ancestors came on the same ship, same ships from Africa, and the first stop was in the United States of America. And you see the slaves that were, they know that they were compliant and docile. They dropped them right off here. You see the slaves that they knew that were going to be problems, they took them to Jamaica. Guess where I'm from? Jamaica. And guess where he's from? And they said, oh, he's from America. And I said, okay. I'll... So I just shut him up. Hey, you see from that? Aim not open him out again. Because I showed me, I showed him, say, you're black, but them don't know, say, you're both a slave. Yeah, so moving on. So the NFL follows a similar pattern. The teams competing for a trophy, with no global re relevance, yet the winners are often celebrated as having conquered the world. So Lyle's remarks serve as a wake-up call, urging us to rethink how we perceive and label success in sports. So as Lyle suggests, this mindset may seem harmless, but it contributes to a larger narrative that can distort our understanding of the world and our place in it. So it's time to recognize the difference between national and global achievements and to celebrate victories with 
the appropriate context. By doing so, we honor the true meaning of being a world champion and respect the diversity and competition beyond American borders. When someone compares you to No Alliance, it is generally intended as a compliment in a good way. So we want to thank the, the sister who said that. No Alliance, yeah, the sister who said, boy, yeah, so we are like No Alliance. But I tell you, hey, still, you know, we have enough respect for people at the Jamaica Young Police. Uh, yeah, man, them, them very, very savvy. You understand, you know. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a sister, right? That tell them thing they say, you know. You understand, say boy, oh yeah, <laughs> you remind me of no lines. And but honestly at first, you know, so okay, we don't really really you know, we don't really like compute because no one has no lines and you understand. So so no lines is widely recognized as one of the fastest sprinters in the world, a multiple time world champion and an Olympic medalist, gold medalist. But we must forget, remember to you know, say, as Jamaican, same girlfriend, or him, him girlfriend is a Jamaican. The man mostly for Jamaica, you know, so don't, don't beat the man, man, he's a black man, you understand? And for Jamaica, I because we curse, that's why, we, we, hey, we don't curse people, you know, we don't realize, you know, because guess what? Just like how Saddam and Gomorrah and Rome, I saw Rome fall, you know? What you mean? I saw Rome fall, I saw Rome did all about themselves and them bigger than God and, and I saw them fall. Never. Because once you fall, you know, come back, you know. So nobody feels say Jamaica I reach back up, but that, that pinnacle when they dominate global um, track. You know, that, no, that done. The curse, that curse way. Because, you know, when you know, revel, people were wicked and it's in our blood. The pirates and the buccaneers of the Caribbean. And them are the, you are the offsprings of these murderers. Those of us who don't support what you guys are doing and what you guys embrace, you know, so we don't have, have Buccaneer and Pirate jeans in us. Who don't have the wicked jeans in us? We don't have it. That's why we can't talk against you know? That's why we don't support, we can't understand how we talk so and so. Because we don't have no, we don't have no Pirate and Buccaneer jeans in us. Because we don't wicked. Noah Niles is known for his athletics prowess. Confidence, determination, and positive energy he brings to the track. So, being compared to someone like Lyles suggests that yours truly is recognized for his qualities such as speed, excellence, resilience, or a strong work ethics. So, yeah, so the only thing we, yeah, we can't say excellence, resilience. I mean, all of that, you understand? Because we're fast. What do you mean? If we can run down a guy, yeah, in time we know with twenties, yeah, I was a mid twenties, run down guy uh, over a mic. I mean, I shoot a friend of them thing there. Eh? I will see five shot them in them chest. I will say, oh, Rocky came to the hospital. We are go for them, and we do that. So a guy I compare them record to a guy just watch yourself, but you can't come to you understand. We we record speed for itself. So over the context of the comparison matters, the intent might differs. If the comparison is made in a specific or negative context, such as comparing some, someone out's potent nature to Lyle's recent public comments, but in general being compared to a world class athlete like Noah Lyle's would be considered a compliment. Acknowledging your strengths and abilities. So we want to thank the sister who said, Boy, yeah, why you, you go on like, yes, you, 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 you go on like Noah Lyle's, you know, so. Alright, thanks. So you never did, you never did expound on it. Are expand so we are say all right we thank you for the compliment so asserting that the nba and nfl are world champions after winning the respective championship raises questions about the broader implication of such a claim when american sport leagues crown their champions as world champions it can be seen as a dismissive of the global competition and talent beyond the borders of the united states yeah so america them believe in american exceptionalism and that kind of cockiness. That's why, you know, America, America, you know, the people, them, you know, Americans all love around the world, but the American system, some people don't really like Americans per se, you know, because of that. It's like I leave when a girl like England as an American. Them no want, hey, them no want your American money, because through the pound stronger. And them, so them show arrogance toward you, you know. <laughs> May I tell you, I saw them go on, even at the airport. So this practice can be interpreted as a form of cultural. Insolarity. 
where the achievement of one nation is a false equated with global dominance. So that is a false narrative where they paint in American people. Now. Such a mindset may um, yeah, unintentionally mirror the propaganda techniques used by authoritarian, authoritarian, authoritarian regimes like North Korea, where the state controls the narrative to create an illusion of supremacy and perfection. In North Korea, the government manipulates information, information to convince its citizens that their nation is unparalleled fostering a sense of superiority, disconnected from reality. <laughs> yeah, because I saw them do it. You know, hey, you know, say, you know, say the leader in North Korea, them be say, oh, God, and the people, them have a ball, hey, you have a train, for, if you're not crying, you know, they, hey, may I tell you, you know. So why give thanks? If you're black, uh, anyway, I will give thanks. So that's why, don't celebrate evil, man. Denounce it. Denounce evil. Because evil is not good enough. You know, evil destroy people's life, and mind, and heart, and soul. We see them are celebrated, but we're not celebrated because we're against evil. So while the context is different, the underlying mechanism of creating a self-contained reality is somewhat similar. When America's American sport leagues claim global supremacy without global competition. So basically, America and North Korea, when, when it comes to the sports and the government philosophy in North Korea is pretty much the same. Yeah, Arthur Ter Arthur Retarian regime dictator business. So, by calling out this practice, we are like the importance of recognizing and respecting the diversity and richness of the world's sport culture. True world champions should be crowned through global competition where the best from all nations compete on the level playing field, like the Olympics. Anything else does a disservice to the rest of the world and reinforce a narrow, inward looking perspective that is not only inaccurate but potentially harmful in its broader implications. Labeling the NBA and NFL champions as world champions without global competition undermines the true meaning of such a little reflection. So reflect on a narrow insular perspective. This practice not only disrespect the talents and achievements of athletes worthwhile, but also perpetuate a mindset that disturbing the reminiscing of authoritarian propaganda. To truly honor the spirit of global sport, it is essential to recognize and celebrate champions who have competed against the best of the world and as best of the world has to offer. Anything less is a disservice to the athletes and the diverse global community they belong to. So you have to understand so everything where, you know, when America says, oh, they're my world champion, they're not a world champion because you can't compete against yourself because America is not the world. You have to understand that. So as we tell you, Jamaica is going to hell. Whether or not you want to believe it, you know, if we have a change of mindset and go back to the roots of loving God. But we don't have any leaders. We have misleaders in Jamaica who are destroying the people. So in time, we soon um, address the the murder done by Cherry Trillion. We are family of Clarendon, you know. Yeah, we are family we are family of Clarendon. You understand? So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel. Out.